Hey, yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to another Gauntlet episode. Just a video to just throw up to say how grateful and appreciative I am uh, to finally reach 300 subscribers. Man, we hit 200 subscribers about like, you know, I want to say a while back. I want to say about like two, two and a half months back. And we hit, we hit 300 pretty fairly quickly, man. Uh, there was this one guy who commented. He said, uh, I know it may not seem small, but I subscribe. I said, it may not seem small to you, but one subscriber is, is a lot to me. You know, I started out with zero and, and you know, to, to reach 300, man, it, it's, uh, it's, it's crazy. It feels very good. It feels, it feels awesome. I, I really do appreciate everyone who watches my videos, whether you're a subscriber or not, man, everyone who comments on the video, you see, I'm putting up, you know, the comments right now on there, you know, from everybody who has showed support since day one. So, man, I'm just very appreciative. But, you know, just want to talk to you about, you know, a question that I get a lot. You know, I get this question a lot. And I just, the question is, you know, who's, who's my NFL team? And obviously, if you look at my banner, I got, got Cam Newton on there. If you look at every Draft Champions video, I, I always have a Panthers U, uni on. My, my favorite team is the Carolina Panthers. All right, and I get this question after I say my favorite team is the Carolina Panthers. I, people always ask me, "Are you one of those people who bandwagon?" No, no. I've I've liked the I've been a fan of the Panthers since '03, when uh, that year we made it to the Super Bowl. Back then, I didn't really have a team. Back then, I was younger. I was just getting into football, but I wasn't a fan of the Carolina Panthers so much. I was just a fan of Steve Smith. I really, really love Steve Smith, and I was a fan of Steve Smith, Mike Minter, uh, who was our safety at the time, and I was in love with Dan Morgan. I don't know if you guys know this, but if you're a true, true Panther fan, and you know the team that we had back in 03, when we made it to the Super Bowl, Dan Morgan, he was the, I want to say he was the Luke Kuechly back then, because Luke Kuechly is obviously way better, but Dan Morgan was that linebacker who did mostly like everything he was he was all around the field if there was ever like a tackle made by a carolina panther dan morgan was in the mix of it that white boy can play and i think he went to the university of miami so i followed him from from uh yeah he went to the university of miami and uh yeah i was a huge dan morgan fan and i love steve smith and then you know i started watching the games and i kept you know keeping up with them keeping up with their stats keeping up with uh you know you know like who you know what they did throughout the season and you know it, it was just it was just a great year and i remember uh we made it to the playoffs and uh we were playing against the st louis rams now the st louis rams is my brother's favorite team and when uh steve smith caught that touchdown pass in double overtime the first play of double overtime to go to, to to reach the nfc title game and then we made it to the nfc title game we beat Donovan McNabb and his Philadelphia Eagles, and we made it to the Super Bowl. That's when I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, this team can ball out. This team can ball out. That was all the way in 2003. They've been my team since 2003. Now, granted, granted, I'll tell you this. We went 11-5 and that year back in 03. The next year, in 2004, we went 7-9. and But I was, at that point, I was just like, you know what? Still my team. We went 7-9. and We didn't make it to the playoffs. And, you know, my favorite player in the NFL, Steve Smith, broke his leg that year. He broke his leg. So I was just like, oh, my gosh. He broke his leg. And, you know, we went 7-9 that year. But the year after that, in 2005, we went 11-5. We went and, and then that's when Steve Smith came back. And that was the year he won the triple crown. He led the uh, NFL in receptions, yards, and touchdowns. And then we went on beat the Giants, we went on to beat the Bears, and then we got beat by the Seattle Seahawks uh, in the NFC Championship round, and I that was, a, that was a day I actually cried. I was young at the time, so when we lost, I kind of cried. But, you know, it, it just goes to show that, you know, like, I've been, I've been in, like, watching the Panthers for a long time. I could tell you their records. I could tell you all their records from the year, like, from the year we played. We went, after 2005, we went 8-8 eight and eight in 06, and then we went 7-9, and nine, and then we went 12-1. We, we went, then we went 12-4 and four back in 2008. That's when we had the double-headed march with D'Angelo Williams and Jonathan Stewart, and then, you know, our defense was coming about. We had Ken Lucas. We still had Chris Gamble on the team and stuff like that, and then we had uh, Thomas Davis. We had James Anderson, and then we had uh, John Beeson. 
our squad was pretty our, our defense wasn't as good as what it was now but it was it was pretty stout but then uh that's when we got the first round by and at uh the arizona cardinals came to our house for the division round and it was jake delone's birthday and this guy threw i think five interceptions on his birthday so i was so upset and then i remember uh in 2010 the year before we drafted cam newton we went two and 14 and that's what gave us the number one pick in the draft we went two and 14 and I think our only win was against to the, to the Cardinals and then to the Buccaneers. We went two and fourteen, and you know we got Cam Newton, and then you know we went six and ten, seven and nine, and then we went twelve and four. But sadly, we lost to the uh, we lost to the the Forty Niners, Forty Niners, and it would. I I always say this, you know, what if what if we would have won that game against the Forty ers and we would have traveled all the way back to Seattle for a rematch of the 2005 NFC Championship. It would have been two of the top defenses, because I think we were ranked like, what, second in defense that year. Top two defenses in the NFL going head to head at it, man. And it would have, it, 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 I, I feel like if we would have won that game against San Francisco, we would have we beat the Seattle Seahawks. We would have beat the Seattle Seahawks and made it to the Super Bowl to play the, uh, the Denver Broncos. But nonetheless, you know, it was a great year that year. You know, that's when Cam started flourishing as a pocket QB. And the year after that, you know, we went 7, 8, and 1. And then that tie with the Bengals. When we had the tie game against the Bengals, people were like, oh, how do you tie against the Bengals? I was like, watch, this, that game's going to help us. And it did. It did help us to win the NFC South. And then uh, this year, uh, we are now 14 and 1. Uh, I mean, we're 14 and 0. And people ask me, you know, what if you guys weren't undefeated? If, we got, if, if, the, if the Carolina Panthers weren't undefeated, that's still my team, you know. Like, I this is a team that I read up on. I always go on Panther.com. I'm always reading about the news. I'm always reading about who's like starting and who's sitting down. I'm always reading about everything. Like, I watch video. I like. I will sit there and watch a whole press conference of Ron Riviera talk about, you know, what 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 the team has been practicing on this week. So like, when they go, you know. When they go and play on Sundays, you know, I, I, I have a gist of what's going to happen and what's going on. So that's my team, and I stand by my team. We could be, uh, you know, 14-0 or 0-14. Because I remember back in 2010, we were like, what? We, we, we only won two games. But those two games that we won, I was excited because, you know, I'm, I'm a Carolina Panther fan. I'm a diehard Carolina Panther fan. I swear, I'm going to move to North Carolina. I'm going to get you know season tickets for the rest of my life and then hopefully one day one day i'll be able to own the team because yo i love me some carolina panthers but that that's all the video man just thank you guys for 300 subscribers man we're gonna keep going on 2016 is coming on along the way i'm gonna be grinding working hard putting hell of a money uh videos and yeah thank you guys so much i really do appreciate it but as for always your sport energy commentary i'm out catch you guys later peace out of here